It drives me crazy when English learners are constantly hesitating trying to translate everything from English into your native language, from your native language back into English. Today, I'm gonna to share 11 ways that you can quickly and easily think in English. And guess what? They're all free too. So let's jump in. One simple but maybe crazy a little thing that I do is to talk to other living things, beings like plants, animals, my dog, in the language that I'm learning. So if I wanna practice my Spanish, I will start training my dog in Spanish. So sit, siéntate, or let's go, vámonos. Okay, so you can start doing that. Even if you don't have a pet, you don't have a dog, no problem. You don't have a plant to talk to, no problem. You can even do this with yourself. A lot of us had imaginary friends growing up, so why not have an English-speaking imaginary friend? So if you have to be alone, if you don't have an English practice partner, it's okay, that's not an excuse. You can still practice. When you do have a chance, for example, if you can decide between um, using an app to order food versus making a phone call or going in person to order food in English, well, I encourage you to choose the latter. So if you're a super beginner, try ordering from an app in English. But if you wanna practice your speaking, then push yourself. Don't use technology as a crutch to avoid speaking English. It is essential to think in English. Stop translating from your native language. I'm sure that you're on social media. If you're not, I encourage you actually to get on social media so that you can follow English speaking accounts. I do this on Instagram. I follow Univision in Spanish. So I'm always seeing the news headlines in Spanish and a lot of them are really shocking and that emotion that I feel when I read those headlines actually helps me to learn more Spanish because emotion and feeling helps us to retain new vocabulary words. Also interact on social media in English, leave comments. In fact, make sure you're following Go Natural English on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and of course, YouTube, and leave comments in English because this is a great way to practice. YouTube, Netflix, the news, music, podcasts, you need to be consuming more media in English. Even if you only understand 60%, it will get better. Soon enough, you'll be understanding 70, then 80, then close to 100%. So just put it on and consume more content in English. Before you can really speak and write in English, you need to consume English. If you're having doubts, if you're thinking, I can only think in English if I'm super advanced and already speaking like a native, you're wrong. This is something that you can do today, no matter what level you are. Even beginners can do this. I love listening to music in Spanish because I also dance salsa and movement is another way to actually become more fluent because when you put movement with your words in English, you actually remember them better. It's something about how your body physically interacts with your memory, like muscle memory and the vocabulary. So I'm actually pretty good at learning Spanish through music. You can do the same thing in English. You don't have to dance salsa to it. You can just dance, move your arms, but the movement actually helps you to internalize the vocabulary and think in English. When we learn in a traditional way, so I took Spanish in school and I learned to translate. We learn through translation in the classroom, especially as adults. So we have to stop that and go back to kind of more how we learn as children. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that as an adult. One thing to stop doing is using a bilingual dictionary as a crutch. Only use this if you really, really need to look up something very specific that is not obvious from everyday life like medical terminology probably a good idea to use a bilingual dictionary if you learned uh, medicine or you went to med school in your native language I get it we don't want to be messing up people's surgeries however if you are learning new vocabulary for objects in mm. everyday life then try to label them in English in your mind or physically actually create a label for them and put that label on the object so that you're learning this thing with pages that I am holding in my hands, this is a libro, okay? This is the book. This is that word in English. It's not a libro translated to book in English. If you want to speak English, 
quickly, like a native speaker, fast, naturally. It is essential to think in English, stop translating from your native language, script some English conversations in your mind on paper, just guess what would be likely to happen. I was recently in Mexico City and I was ordering a coffee at a cute little cafe and she said something I didn't catch right away, but then I thought about it, I thought about the situation, I had just ordered coffee, she was actually asking me, can you guess? would I like milk in my coffee? And I guess that, and before she could repeat what she said, I said, oh, uh, si quiero leche. And I know my accent is not perfect, but she understood me and I felt so good because I was like, I caught it. She didn't have to repeat herself. So if you just think about the situation a little bit, you will be able to um, actually catch more English and you'll be thinking in English too, just like a native in these situations would do. And on that topic, you can actually narrate what you're doing even if you're not around people, actually preferably if you're not around people, you can kind of narrate your life as if it were a movie in English. So whatever you're doing, let's say you're working, you can say, I'm working, I'm working on a report, I'm going to write some emails. And you don't do this nonstop all day, just take a minute, even 30 seconds, and narrate what you're doing every once in a while. And this will help you to really become comfortable with thinking in English. Also, I love to journal every morning. I take about 10 to 15 minutes and I journal. So if I'm studying a language, I will journal in that language. Take a few minutes every day, journal. If you don't like journaling, if that's not your thing, then write your to-do list in English. You can write your to-dos for work, for your personal life, just things that you need to get done, maybe your grocery list. And just using English, thinking in English is going to become more natural the more you do it. No matter which one of these exercises, or all of them, if you do all of them, that you maintain a positive mindset. And how do you do that? Because English can be challenging. I'm not gonna lie, it's not always easy. You're not going to get away without making mistakes. You have to keep a positive mindset, and I highly recommend that you you create an affirmation for your English learning. For example, each day I'm getting a little bit better. So if I'm learning Spanish, it would be cada día estoy mejorando poco a poco. Yes, that feels good. It's okay. Um, it takes time, <laughs> but be easy and patient with yourself. Be easy on yourself and have an affirmation that you can repeat in English that's actually training your brain to think in English. So what is yours? Share them in the comments because I think we can inspire each other here. The main idea is make English a part of your life. Make sure that you're understanding the objects and the actions in your life are actually words in English and not concepts to translate from your native language into English. Just make a habit of using English in the ways that I just suggested and you will be thinking in English in no time. So follow Go Natural English on social media in English and comment and we can connect and continue to practice make English a part of your life and you will be thinking in English. Just relax and go with the flow. It will be easy and stress-free. I'm Gabby from GoNaturalEnglish.com. Thank you for watching.